Hello everyone welcome back to Shahi Comics, and from Ezra and the crew's first meeting to Asaka and Sabine's reunion, here's when each Star Wars Rebels season takes place in the Star Wars timeline, and Star Wars Rebels takes place in one of the most important portions of the Star Wars timeline, with events that connect to the original trilogy as well as two live action shows such as The Mandalorian and Asaka, despite being a spiritual successor to Star Wars, The Clone Wars, Rebels is set more than a decade after the fall of the Jedi. Disney's first major Star Wars release followed a unique group of rebels during the Age of the Empire, the Dark Times, described by Obi-Wan Kenobi in A New Hope, and Star Wars Rebels premiered in 2013, and the Star Wars Rebels ending aired in 2018, before Luke Skywalker joined the Rebel Alliance and destroyed the Death Star. Other heroes were being forged across the galaxy. This includes the crew of the Ghost the main characters of Rebels, to discuss when each Star Wars Rebels season takes place. It is important to establish how the Star Wars timeline works. The Battle of Yavin, which happens in A New Hope, is ground zero for Star Wars chronology, therefore, BBY means before the Battle of Yavin. Here is how each Rebels season fits in the saga's timeline. And before we start the video, if you're new to our YouTube channel hit the subscribe button to more content reach you. And Star Wars Rebels opens in 5 BBY. And Star Wars Rebels Season 1 begins in 5 BBY, meaning the show stars five years before the events of A New Hope. The Rebel Alliance as introduced in the original Star Wars movie had yet to be formed, although the Empire was already noticing more organized rebel operations. This included Sajarera's Rebel Cell, which had always caused trouble for the Empire. This is also when Sajarera abandoned JYN Urso, which is depicted in Rogue One, a Star Wars story's flashbacks. Rebels Season 1 takes place somewhat concurrently with Ender Season 1, which also begins 5 BBY, and the political background of the Star Wars galaxy is very much the same in Ender Season 1 and Rebels Season 1. The crew of the Ghost was assumed to be one of many isolated rebel cells the Empire was dealing with, which is something Ander addressed. However, Ander shows that a more solid rebellion was being crafted by the likes of Mon Mothma and Luthan Rail. Star Wars Rebels Season 1 finale would then reveal that Hera was working with a larger operation, setting up Phoenix Squadron's role in the Galactic Civil War during Rebels Season 2. Ander retcons some elements of Rebels, namely the Rebel Alliance's origins. And Star Wars Rebels Season 2 opens in 4 BBY. And Star Wars Rebels Season 1 final episodes take place in 4 BBY, as confirmed by the celebration of the 15th Empire Day. As such, the death of the Ground Inquisitor and the aftermath of the Rebels' escape all happened in 4 BBY, meaning that Star Wars Rebels Season 2 begins four years before A New Hope. In 4 BBY, Leah Organa becomes a junior senator and begins to secretly help rebel cells on behalf of her father, Bail Organa. Leah would then appear in Star Wars Rebels Season 2, Episode 12, as a junior senator on what was supposed to be a diplomatic mission on Lothal, and the galaxy's political context four years before A New Hope was not too much different from how things were in 5 BBY, although the existence of an organized rebellion was now much more obvious, Asako Tano joined Phoenix Squadron and became an important ally of the rebellion, with Darth Vader briefly taking part in the search for the rebels of Lothal. Following the death of the Grand Inquisitor, Vader deployed two new Jedi hunters to search for the crew of the Ghost the Fifth Brother and the Seventh Sister. The battle between Asaka and Vader, as well as the deaths of three Inquisitors in Malakar, also happened in 4 BBY. And Star Wars Rebels Season 3 opens in 2 BBY. And there is a noticeable time jump between the end of Rebels Season 2 and the beginning of Rebels Season 3, the latter of which is set in 2 BBY. This is a crucial year not only for the Rebels crew and the rest of the Rebel Alliance, but for Star Wars as a whole. It is in 2 BBY that Grand Admiral Thrawn is enlisted to deal with the Rebellion, with Thrawn serving as the main villain for Rebels Season 3. It was also in 2 BBY that Wedge and Chilis, who would go on to become one of the Rebellion's most important pilots, leaves the Imperial Academy, and Mon Mothma's transition from a senator to a rebel leader happens in 2 BBY and is covered in Rebels Season 3, following the Gorman Massacre. Mon Mothma publicly criticized Emperor Palpatine and asked people to rebel against the Empire, 
Mo Muthmer left her home planet, Chandrila, to become one of the Rebellion's leaders, with two years left before the events of the original Star Wars movie. The scattered rebel cells were reorganized into the Alliance to Restore the Republic, also known as the Rebel Alliance. This is a redefining moment for the Star Wars galaxy, officially starting the war covered in the original trilogy, and the year of 2 BBY is also when Maul dies on Tatooine. More than 17 years after the end of the Clone Wars, the former Sith finally found Obi-Wan Kenobi. The Maul vs. Kenobi rematch was brief, and the exiled Jedi Master killed his old nemesis, Following the Battle of Atalan, Thrawn momentarily stepped away from the Galactic Civil War and began to investigate the Grisks with Darth Vader. Lastly, the Mandalorian Civil War began in 2 BBY. This war put Imperial Loyalist Mandalorians led by Clan Saxon against Rebel Mandalorians led by Clan Wren. While the Rebels won, the Empire would soon answer with the Great Purge of Mandalore. And Star Wars Rebels Season 4 opens in 1 BBY. And with only one year left before the Death Star destroys Alderaan, Star Wars Rebels entered original trilogy territory with Season 4, Rogue One had already hit theaters, yet most of the events of Rebels Season 4 take place before the 2016 movie, for example, Rebels Season 4 features one of the final chronological appearances of Saja Rera before his death in Rogue One, the High Command of the Rebel Alliance chooses Yavin 4 which debuted in the original Star Wars movie, as its base. Following the end of the Mandalorian Civil War, Sabine Wren chose to give the Darksaber to bo and Kryze, despite the Mandalorian traditions, and most of the key Rogue One moments take place very close to the end of 1 BBY. This includes the destruction of Jedha during the Death Star's test run, Saja Rera's death, the recruitment of J.Y.N. Urson by the Rebellion, the death of Galen Erso, and the Battle of Scarif. Chopper and Hirsan Dull are in Yavin 4 during the final portion of Rogue One, which takes place after Kanan Jarrus' death and the Battle of Lothal. Without considering the epilogue, Star Wars Rebels 4 begins and ends in 1 BBY. Darth Vader chasing Leia's ship sets the events of A New Hope in motion, leading to the Battle of Yavin. And Star Wars Rebels epilogue takes place c. 9 ABY, in Asaka. And when Star Wars Rebels epilogue takes place in the Star Wars timeline had been a mystery since the finale aired, Sabine Wren narrated the success of the Rebellion and the fall of the Empire following the Battle of Ender as Rebels revealed the fates of its characters, however, it was difficult to say how much time had passed between Return of the Jedi and the scenes from the Rebels epilogue, for example, here is Sun chasing Cinderella, who was born in 1 BBY, was a small child during the Rebels epilogue, Asaka looking for Thrawn without Sabine in the Mandalorian Season 2 made the post-Return of the Jedi timeline even more tricky, and Asaka retconned Star Wars Rebels epilogue and revealed that the reunion between Tano and Ren happened after the first few events of the live-action series. Asaka begins circa 9 BY, which is the same thing as saying five years after Return of the Jedi, therefore, at least nine years passed between Star Wars Rebels Battle of Lothal, during which Ezra Bridger and Grand Admiral Thrawn disappeared, and the reunion between Sabine and Asaka, the Mandalorian and the Book of Boba Fett both take place in 9 BY as well, although the placement of the Mandalorian Season 3 in the Star Wars timeline is still unclear. And we're in the end of the video now, and another awesome video I will meet you again. Bye guys have a good day.